Hi, it's John. It's the 28th of um, May 2014. You've seen the Skylark in the picture. Don't chase the Skylark. It's not a very good idea. Go back to my original shot. Oh, where are we? Now, what I, I like about uh, what I'm trying to set up here Ooh. is that line. <laughs> it's a purist, isn't it? A line. Um, I did a painting from from one of my photographs a long, long time ago, and I surprised myself with the paint, getting the line of the field, and then getting the the more distant field, and um, and then another thing I like is the blue hills on the horizon uh, and that, that grey. Um, so that gives a nice sense of distance. I like the skylarks as well. I've given up for trying to photograph those so. Again we've had rain all morning, but now it's dryish, and I thought the sort of hazy light would actually detract from the photography, but uh, it's actually doing something for it. Now the um, fir trees and the uh, deciduous trees in that um, wood, that's interesting. Now, again, going back to my watercolour days, I remember I had one of these books where you had a picture on one side of the page and then you had to paint it in on the other side of the page and there was a picture like that, not quite painted by numbers, it was a little bit more difficult than painted by numbers but it was very similar to that. I'm out at uh, on that hill field ridge again, a bit further out this time. The wind's getting up, it's on my back, so it shouldn't be too bad in the mic. I was just scanning around the field to see if I could see a composition of sheep. Couldn't see one, so I decided on one sheep. It's just trial and error. One doesn't really know what's going to work and what isn't going to work. Just try it out, then you know for the next time.